My name is Shane Linehan, I'm a tax partner here at BDO. I've been with BDO just over 10 years. Uh, prior to that, I was I originally started out at a big four firm where I worked in both business services and tax, a little bit of a mix. Then specialised in corporate tax, I went overseas for a couple of years, I worked in London, uh, working on uh, management accounting type projects, came back to New Zealand, answered the call back to tax and joined a smaller firm of about 40 odd staff before finally coming to BDO uh, and where I've been, as I said, for the last 10 years or so. Um, so why BDO? Well, well, I mean, you know, having worked in both a smaller firm and a larger firm, I can honestly say that BDO is the best of both worlds and that it's big enough that you've got exposure of the larger clients where you've got, you know, um, big transactions, expansions offshore, um, you know, coming onshore as well. Um, but you've also, BDO's also managed to maintain the, the um, those key attributes of a smaller firm where um, it's got, you know, still got smaller clients, you've got individuals and trust returns, you know, and, 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 and um, tax issues to deal with as well. Um, you've got that sort of smaller team feel and that um, while there's a hierarchy on paper, we all work together as one team. As a graduate, you'd work closely with a partner at a very, very early stage, as, um, earlier than you would uh, perhaps with a larger firm. Um, uh, you've also got some, you know, with a smaller um, sort of team environment, you have that support network as well. Um, but we're also still big enough to have a structured learning um, uh, in place where we have fortnightly trainings. We have um, uh, an annual uh, tax conference, which is held in Auckland, Wellington and um, Christchurch, and that alternates. Um, yeah, so that's yeah, a bit about me and, and, and my BDO. In terms of um, what does more than a numbers machine uh, mean to me, well for tax we write, that's what we do. A lot of our work, most of our work is writing. So whether it's writing opinions, um, you know, answering emails which you know, can turn into opinions quite easy, um, uh, answering sort of disputes within that revenue, we are constantly writing and it's quite a key um, you know, attribute to what, to what we do. Um, so that's definitely more than numbers, but also the numbers themselves when you're doing tax returns or calculations or, or um, anything similar, um, there's a story behind every number. So if you're completing a tax return, you're putting a number in, there's a, there's a specific section of the Tax Act behind that and probably case law as well supporting that tax position you're taking. So, uh, there's, so certainly there's more, more, um, more than just a numbers machine because as I say, there's a story behind every number that you are putting in. And, um, and we write a lot. In terms of the, the tax team here in Auckland, we've got um, five tax partners, of which I'm one. Um, we have about 30 odd staff, um, and no two days are the same. In terms of the work we do, no two days are the same. Um, it's so varied, and that's due to the nature of our clients, which are varied by nature. It's, I mentioned earlier we've got both large and small clients. We have that um, we have that benefit, um, and um, the work that goes with them is, is, is varied as well. I mean, most of our clients expect us to know all forms of, of tax. You know, they say you're my tax guy. You know, what's the answer? So, so we're covering all types of tax. We don't specialise or pigeonhole early on or even or even later on. So, um, so that's what makes the days so varied and and, and, go, and go so quick. Um, so what we do, we'll be working on things like international tax, so it's about clients who are expanding offshore, which is most of the time, or sometimes you know you have, you have um, offshore clients coming onshore, and we'll be working with our global network um, in that regard to get the best solution for our clients. So you might be doing late night calls, early morning calls, lots of sort of um, emails um, to work with our, our, our network to get the right solution, and often that's Australia, um, also US, UK, we recently did Portugal, we've done France, Spain, I mean it's, it's all over the world, um, a lot in Asia Pacific as well with Singapore and Hong Kong and China of course. Um, we also do a lot of M&A work, so mergers and acquisitions, so that's due diligence assignments. We'll work closely with our corporate finance team in that regard. We'll be um, getting under the hood, if you like, of a potential target um, company that, that someone wants to acquire. Um, looking for tax risks, writing a report, so again back to the writing um, 
and uh, then, then providing that to, to, our, to our clients. We'll then get involved with like sale and purchase agreement negotiations, tax warranties, tax indemnities, uh, as well as then looking at the overall structure of the transaction. So if we're acting for the purchaser, we'll look at a good acquisition structure. If we're acting for the vendor, we'll look at the best ways to get those sale proceeds back to the shareholders in, the, in a tax efficient manner. Um, we also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we do a lot of opinion writing um, uh, and, and disputes and they'll be on all tax matters, might be GST and land, might be on avoidance, it might be on a capital revenue distinction and it can take all forms as well, it could be you know, email, memo, letter or in the more formal disputes process that you have within the revenue. Uh, we also, of course, uh, you know, the foundation for all our consulting work is our, is our compliance, so there's tax returns. And they vary from you know individuals, trusts, um, you know some uh, uh, incorporated societies on it, um, to um, you know large corporate groups, consolidated tax groups, and the like. And we also do tax clearances for where we work alongside our audit team uh, to support any sort of deferred tax balances and, and tax provisions in the, in the balance sheet for a for an audit client. Um, uh, with that as well, we have um, you know just ad hoc queries that come in daily. It might be GST, FBT, might be a phone call, email, um, and we might get that both from our clients, but also within the network as well, uh, given we've got the the, uh, the tax specialty. So it's a very varied day. It's a very varied business with uh, clients doing interesting things, and um, it's a great place to work. Hope you join us. Um, one thing I think would be handy to know is, is or, or just a good piece of advice is just get involved, just um, do everything you can, get involved in every type of work you can, work for as many people as you can and that's the best way you can work out what you like most and, and, and get your clear pathway um, forward for your career.